hi there today I'm gonna to show you how to configure a a zone PTZ camera to auto pan tilt and zoom so these are one of the options it has on the device itself so here's the camera in question we're gonna configure so I've just temporarily mounted it on a pallet just to demonstrate Right, we're at the console of the camera now. So the camera's connected to an A-Zone CCTV system, so an NVR, the network video recorder. And obviously you can see the picture there. Um, the picture quality is in HD. So let's go through the instructions on how to configure it. So you right click, PTZ control, and you're presented with this menu. Now, quite an interesting way of doing it, uh, a little bit confusing. I was having a little play about with it, but with this particular operating system, it's not just unique to A-Zone cameras. Other systems are using this as well. So what you do, you select your preset number first. So say for instance, I pick one, and then you just position your camera where you want that, P, uh, that preset to be. So if I initially say that's one preset and then I hit the plus button you'll see this appear preset zero one so that's saved next I'll go up and we'll set the next preset so these presets will just define where you want the camera to pan tilt and even zoom in so hence why the name PTZ so pan tilt zoom let's find another look okay so we'll go for that one pick two click it twice preset two okay let me put in three but for this one what I'll do I'll zoom in right into that yep there you go and we'll save that there's three let's go for four next so on four let's zoom out one of the first ptz cameras i've, I've ever owned and it's quite interesting how you can configure it to pick these different areas to so just scan over hence the point of buying them okay we'll go for that one and again click that twice zoom out again then we'll perhaps pick something slightly different just and then we'll say that can be five okay and that's it that's my five presets I've put in now the code to start it off is actually 98 so you put that in and you hit start and that sort of kicks it in to start zooming there you go so that's your that's my first preset and it waits a few seconds goes to my second one third fourth and finally the fifth and it will just continuously do this in a loop quite a cool feature really and what we can do let's try slowing it down a bit still seems pretty much the same to me if I hit start maybe that'll take on the speed Okay, still seems pretty fast. 
What if I change it to nine now? Okay. Okay. Next thing is let's let's stop it. See so if I do ninety seven and then click start that just cancelled it off. It says Tor zero zero two but I did find it did stop it. So another code you can put in is ninety nine and that'll do a three sixty sort of pan of things. Let's try that one. There you go, a very slow scan going across. Let's see if we can zoom out as well. Okay, let it carry on. It's a pretty impressive feature, really. Now, if you wanted to get rid of the presets, what you can do, do 97, let's just stop it. And then what you do, you pick your number. So we did five presets. So you put your number in and you click that. And that, when it says preset and the number, and you hit the, um, the subtract option, um, it actually removes that preset. So let's do that for all of them now. Three, four, and five. There you go. Pretty, pretty impressive functionality you have from this system. Um, and obviously a key reason why you'd purchase it just to be able to scan over these different regions. And again, the zoom feature is quite an amazing feature to have. The fact that it actually allows you to zoom into areas and then zoom out onto other areas. So there you go. I hope it's helped anyone trying to configure one of these things. It's not really a straightforward thing. Um, instructions aren't brilliant, but hopefully this video should help anyone with the A-Zone cameras um, set up their PTZ system. There you go. Thanks for viewing.